Hello and welcome to CEB. Before starting the video, if you like the content of the video, useful in understanding the concept, do like the video, share the video, and subscribe the channel because subscription is very important. Today's question is we have to design Turing machine for the well formulas of parentheses. First of all, what is parentheses? Parentheses are nothing but simple braces, uh, curly braces, or the square bracket. Now, what is the well-formedness of the parenthesis? That is, we should have the equal number of opening and closing braces. If we are having opening and closing braces, we should have the equal number of opening and equal number, same number of closing braces. Now, we are going to check this type of uh, opening and closing braces. So, for this outer opening braces, we are going to match the innermost closing bracket as a matching one. So what we are going to do, we are going to get the wrong information. So what is the correct way of matching the parenthesis is that we will find out the inner move closing uh, parenthesis. We will mark it that for this one, we are searching for the inner most uh, opening uh, matching parenthesis. So after marking this closing parenthesis, parenthesis by star, when we go and search for the inner one, and after finding the innermost uh, opening braces, we will mark it with the star. So this is called as the best way of finding the matching parenthesis. Now here, one for the uh, outermost opening bracket, we are not having the closing one. So that means this is not the balance the parenthesis. So this they are not well formed parenthesis. Here we are having extra opening braces. Now we are going to take this example. In this case also, what we are going to do, if we are having this kind of situation, so what we'll start, we'll start from the innermost closing bracket and we'll mark with the star. Then we'll move towards the right hand side, finding for the innermost closing uh, opening a bracket. We'll, we'll mark that also by star because that is a matching one. We will move back again and we will search for the again the uh, closing parenthesis we will mark it by again by star we will move forward and we will, we will search for the for the matching one but here the matching parenthesis is not present so what we got here is that we got the extra closing parenthesis now how we will solve it by using the tape so we will consider one tape in which all the cells, all the cells are available that is indicated the, by the blank symbol. In this case, the blank symbol we are represented by blue. Now, this we will on this tape we will take one example that is two opening braces and two closing braces. So we will write our example on the tape. Now, what is the what is our algorithm that has, that that we had already decided? So if we are having this kind of string, so what we are going to do? We will read the string from the right hand side and we will bypass all the close all the opening brackets till we reach the closing one. After finding the closing bracket, we will mark it by a star and we will move towards the left hand side for first searching the innermost opening bracket. After finding the innermost bracket, what we are going to do, we will mark that innermost bracket by star and what we are going to do, we are going to move again in the right, right direction for searching for the second closing bracket. After finding the second closing bracket, what we are going to do, again we will replace that by the uh, star and we will move, we will move again towards the left hand side for finding its matching opening braces. After finding the opening braces, we will mark that opening braces by star and we will move in the right direction and we will search for any remaining opening braces. So here, we are not having any remaining opening braces but we got the blank space. So this, after reaching the blank space, that means we have checked all the closing braces and there is no new closing braces. So what we are going to do, now we will move in the right hand side and check for any extra opening braces. 
if they are present if they are not present we will reach to the blank space blank symbol and after reaching the blank symbol that means we have checked the welcomeness of all the friends parentheses and they are properly formed there is no extra opening braces or there is no extra closing braces so this is our algorithm now how we will go step by step is that we will write our string on the tape we will be are here so q0 is the initial state here we are having pointer that is pointing to the Uh, opening braces. So, what is our algorithm is to bypass all the opening braces till we are going to reach the closing bracket. So, the Q zero, which is on the initial state on the opening braces, that is your current string is opening braces. Your output will be as it is. Output will be same, and what it will move towards the right hand side. So, your pointer, resultant pointer, will move here. and the resultant state will be as it is because we are moving we are bypassing all the opening braces so now we are here now what what is our algorithm for this current opening braces also we are going to uh, write output as it is for the input opening braces your output will be opening braces the resultant state will be q0 because we are not doing anything we are bypassing everything And will move towards the right hand side. So your resultant state will be Q zero, and we are Q. Now after reaching here, which was your closing bracket, we got the first closing bracket. So after finding the closing bracket, we are going to mark with the star because now that is what we did in our algorithm. So now we will change our state from Q zero to Q one. So our resultant state will be Q one, and we will move towards the left hand side to find the matching inner parentheses. So where are we now? We are here. That is, we are here now. And after finding this matching parentheses, what we are going to do? We are going to change it to the star, and we will change the state also to Q zero. So for innermost uh, opening bracket. Bracket. We are changing the output to star, and the resultant state will be Q zero. And where we are moving now, we will move toward the right hand side for for finding the next closing parenthesis. Now, where are we? Now we are here. The Q zero on star. We are not going to do anything because we are searching for closing parenthesis. So we will bypass it. So the current string is star. And the output string will be star. And what we are going to do? We are going to move towards the right hand side. Now we are here after moving a. So so Q zero on star. So Q zero on uh, opening. Uh, sorry, on Q zero on closing parenthesis. What we are going to do? We are going to change it to star. And the resultant state will be Q one. So we'll mark. We we are here and we are changing the state to Q1 after changing closing parenthesis by star. Now after finding the closing parenthesis, which is now replaced by this one, we will move toward the left hand side. And what we are going to do? We are going to bypass all the asterisk. So after finding or uh, after bypassing all the asterisk in Q1 state, what we are going to do? We are going to Find out the innermost or uh, your opening bracket. So for the input, which is your opening bracket, what we are going to do? We are going to change this to star, and the state is going to change to Q zero. So from the current state Q one on input uh, opening bracket, we will change it to star, and we will move toward the right hand side because we are searching for the Next closing parenthesis, which is present towards the right hand side. So the state which was Q one now changed to Q zero. And while moving from here in search of the closing parenthesis, here we are going to bypass all the asterisk. So Q zero, Q 
with the asterisk here, what is going to do is going to bypass. So there will be no change in your in output symbol. It is going to just ignore all the asterisk and move towards the right hand side. So we are here. So what again we are going to do? We will bypass it till we are going to reach the closing parenthesis. So here all the parenthesis have been changed to asterisk. So the Q0 is now going to end with the blank symbol. So Q0 with the blank symbol means we have reached, there is no closing parenthesis that is that are left out. So we have successfully converted, converted all the closing parenthesis into asterisk. So now we are going to change the state from the Q0 to Q2 and we move towards the right hand side for searching where there are some opening braces present or not. So, so when moving from uh, from the last symbol, which was in Q2, moving towards the uh, left hand side, we will find asterisk. So what we are going to do with the asterisk, we are not going to do anything with the asterisk, we will just bypass them. So now Q2 on asterisk is nothing but just move towards the left hand side. Output will be similar to your input, that is your asterisk. Now again, after moving by one position, again, we will get the next symbol as asterisk. So what we are going to do, we will just move towards the left hand side. Now after bypassing also, what we will get the last symbol will be again asterisk. So what we will do, we will move towards the left hand side. Now the next symbol will be blank. So Q2 on blank, that means there is no uh, remaining opening braces uh, present. So now what we are going to do, this is your halting position. So we have successfully converted or we have successfully checked all the uh, parentheses whether they are well formed or not. Now this is a table for all the positions, all the moment that we had considered. So now what we are going to do, we are going to draw the state transition diagram. So we start with the Q0. So Q0 with the input. This is your input symbol. Where it is, what is going going is, is it just moving towards the right hand side. Okay. Now Q0 on uh, closing parenthesis. So what is going to do? We move towards the Q1 state and what is the output? It will move towards, it will change to a straight, uh, star and left position. Okay. Now Q0 on star. So Q0 on star, it is also moving to okay, now Q0 on blank. So Q0 on blank. So Q0 on blank. It is more going to Q2 state and move towards the left hand side. Okay, now Q1 on opening parenthesis. Where it is going? It is going to Q0 and Moment is towards the right hand side with asterisk. Now Q1 with the uh, this parenthesis extra parenthesis means after finding Q0 on this closing parenthesis it has changed to uh, star and has moved to the resultant state as Q1. So we should not get anything extra. Any parenthesis closing parenthesis should not be there. If it is there, that means it is an so that is mentioned here. Now Q1 on asterisk, what is doing? Q1 on asterisk, it is moving toward the left hand side and it is remaining in the same state. Now again Q1 on blank, so that is after changing the first closing parenthesis to star, we shall not, and um, uh, moving towards the right, left hand side, we shall not get blank here. That means this is not the well form. So that's why what we have written that this is an error, or we can, uh, this is an error. Okay, now we have Q2. So Q2 on uh, opening parenthesis. What is Q2? That means we have reached at the end of your string here. And while moving back, and if we are getting extra opening parenthesis, that means this is not well formed. That's why it mentioned error. And after changing all the parenthesis 
and we reach here and after traversing if we got extra uh, closing bracket that means this was not converted previously so that is also error and if we have installed on q2 that means we are going to remain in the same state and we are moving just towards the left hand side and now q2 on now to to on black where it is going it is going to your final position hope you people have understood the concept of how to design touring machine for finding the welcomeness of the balances if you like the video share the video and subscribe the channel thanks for watching